Howdy YouTube, today we're taking a look at the WWE Mattel Champion Collection. Very excited to take a look at this set. It comes with, of course, Rey Mysterio with the World Heavyweight Championship from his run in 2006. The Attitude Era Championship with The Rock. The Classic Winged Eagle Championship with Stone Cold Steve Austin. And then, of course, the WWE Championship with John Cena. And taking a look at the back of the box, and as you can probably see from the video, the box is huge, which is fantastic. I love it. Some great artwork and great detail. Up the top, on the top left, you can see there it's got the WWE Night of Champions logo. We see moving across from left to right, we've got Rey Mysterio looking very nice there. I love these, these pictures. It's sort of like a bit in the WWE video games. It's got that cartoony type feel, which I love. Really cool. You've got The Rock. Looking pretty boss as always. Steve Austin after he, he won the title from Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 14. And then finally, John Cena with his championship that he introduced after winning the title of JBL in 2005. Very excited to get this set opened up and hopefully give you guys a cool review. Okay, so we'll start by taking a look at Rey Mysterio with the World Heavyweight Championship. In terms of the actual figure itself... He looks great. I'm not the biggest Rey Mysterio fan, but Mattel did a really nice job with this guy. If you look there, some great detail on the back. Accurate tattoos. Nice on the side there. He's got a really cool, really cool graphic there. So obviously this is Rey Mysterio from his attire after he won the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania. Great moment. I think they did it as a little bit of a tribute to Eddie Guerrero. One of the all-time greats who obviously passed away. But looks fantastic. If you guys can see, I'll bring it forward there. He's wearing exactly what he's got on the box, which is always nice to see, of course. I'll take a look at the heavyweight belt. This is my favorite championship of all time. Growing up, I was a big WCW fan. And, uh, of course, when WWE introduced this title in 2002, it was awesome and really great to see. Uh, in terms of the Mattel belts... I really love the design aspect of them that they clip in rather than the old jacks where it slides. Just for the sake of comparison, I've got here the Jacks World Heavyweight Championship belt. And you can see there's actually a considerable size difference between the two, which is very interesting. The Mattel's a lot bigger. I'm not sure about the finish. I do like the finish on the Jacks. It has got uh, a little bit more of an accurate look I think looks uh, a little less cheap one of the things with this Mattel belt is that it does seem a lot less a lot less quality actually than especially the Elite and even the Jacks so next we'll take a look at the Rock from the Attitude Era featuring of course the classic Attitude Era championship really nice figure I'll bring it forward so you guys can take a look you can definitely tell it's The Rock. I love that they've sculpted it with the raised eyebrow. Always a nice touch. Also a good opportunity to take a look at the Attitude Era Championship. Lots of nice detail actually. Hopefully that comes across on camera, but it's very accurate to how the actual design looked. If I put it next to the World Heavyweight Championship, it looks like it's made out of the same material, but it's got a different finish. It's got a much bronzer type finish on it, but still very, very cool. And I've got this here just so we can sort of see the comparison and the evolution of the rock. Here we've got one of the first Mattel WWE figures that came out. Obviously the rock with his appearance from 2012, sporting the Jonathan Coach look. We've got uh, the rock from the John Cena Rock 2 pack, which you guys should check out, uh, obviously my review on that. And then we've got the Attitude Era Rock. If I had to pick a favorite, I'd probably pick the Attitude Era Rock. He was one of the best characters, of course, in WWE in the late 90s, early 2000s. Great figure, great set, very accurate, and I'm very happy that they released him, of course, with the championship belt. Next up in the set is one of the main reasons I picked this up, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Probably the most iconic WWE character of the Attitude Era, and one of the best of all time. He comes with the classic Winged Eagle Championship, which I'll bring forward so you guys can get a good look at. 
Again, just like the Attitude Era Championship, lots of detail, very accurate. One downside on mine, which hopefully you can see on camera, is it is smudged uh, on the paint at the bottom there, which is a bit of a shame, but otherwise, still really cool. One of the things I love about the Mattel belts, as opposed to the Jacks, is that they've got these holes, much like in real life, where at least you can have your figures holding the championship, like you can see with the rock there, rather uh, than, I guess, with the jacks, where you just sort of had to clip it in and rest it on the shoulder, which I was never a big fan of. In terms of Steve Austin, there's not a lot going on. He does have a nice face sculpt. You can tell it's him. Good detail there. Nothing on the back of the trunks. It's just plain black, and he does have the famous Stone Cold Steve Austin leg brace. Uh, it would have been nice if they'd put something, whether it be, you know, on his tights or, or given him uh, something just to define Steve Austin a little bit more, but still very cool figure. And last but not least in the champion set, we've got John Cena. I'm not a big John Cena fan, and they do release a lot of figures, but this particular one I love. He's got his attire from 2005-2006 when he was having great battles with obviously JBL, Kurt Angle, Edge, uh, and really cool. I love the army camo type design on his shorts. Very nice. Very cool. I also love that, uh, unlike a lot of other figures, where they used to give him actual knee pads, these ones are painted on. I think that's a really cool addition and very nice. I'll just flip it around on the back so you guys can see, obviously, how the championship belt fits in. Really nice uh, scenery. He's got a lot of back muscle, actually. Uh, and great face sculpt, too. I'll bring that forward. So you guys can see. In terms of the actual WWE Championship belt, it's not too bad. Uh, for what it is, it's, it's pretty solid. Not a lot going on. I will bring in, just for point of comparison, the Jax belt. Now, Jax, obviously, uh, you know, some people love or, or hate them. I thought they did a pretty good job with uh, a lot of figures, although there were some flaws. In terms of the Championship belts, huge size difference between the Jax and the Mattel. The Jax is significantly larger, but I do love this added addition of the spinning championship, which is, of course, one of Cena's trademarks. He did that with the US title and then the WWE championship. So uh, although the Mattel one is, uh, is nice to have and it's a lot more updated, I do love the extra effort that they went to with the Jax belt. Okay, and here we have the champion set. If I had to pick a favorite, probably The Rock. The Steve Austin isn't bad, uh, and obviously the Rey Mysterio and the Cena are pretty solid figures too. All have the standard Mattel basic figure articulation. There's no problems to report on mine, except uh, my Rey Mysterio's left arm, if you try and move it, it is very, very loose. It, it's balancing nice at the moment, which I'm happy about. The Rock's pretty good. Steve Austin's got a limp on his left leg, which I guess that's why he's got the, the knee brace, which isn't too bad. And then the John Cena, his head is very stiff. But otherwise, a great set. If you get a chance to pick it up, it's well worth it.